It says, but we will not boast of things without our measure, but according to the measure of the rule which God hath distributed to us, which reaches and includes even you. What it implies here is that the apostle had a rule as a measure. It is to say, he didn't do whatever he pleased, nor judged incorrectly. The apostle possessed a, the measure of God in his mind, and with that measure, he treated the church with that measure. So then it says, for we are not overextending ourselves as though we did not reach you, for we were the first to come all the way to you with the gospel of Christ. Neither do we boast beyond our limits in the labor of others, but we hope that as your faith increases, that we shall be enlarged by you according to our rule. It says here, you know that you have the gift of faith. And the gift of faith, the faith don't grow. What grows, you grow in the faith that you have. You have the gift of, the, of faith completely. Your faith cannot be enlarged, nor can it uh, diminish. You have the gift of faith. But in that faith, you rise up to the stature of the perfect man. So then Paul says here, listen, I know that with the measure I bring, if you grow in the faith, you're going to make me great. And what? That Paul wanted to make himself great? That Paul wanted to boast exceedingly? No. What Paul wanted was to be magnified, not in the flesh, but in the measure, the rule that Paul walked in. Imagine, Paul was the expert architect in those days. You know why God has preached so much apostolate in the most recent seven years? So I can be magnified. And listen, I have been magnified because everywhere I go, they love me with tremendous love. Now they respect me everywhere. Not before. Before they would say, there comes Jose Luis. Not now. Now they say, there comes the apostle. So then I've said, Lord, they are making me great. And the Lord says, don't be foolish. I'm not going to magnify you. You are a piece of flesh. What I'm going to give you is, are more thorns. I'm going to increase your oven. But I magnified you in the ministry I put in you, which is my measure. So you can measure the believer according to that rule. So then God has to magnify the apostolate because otherwise people disrespect it. So then it says here that there is a rule. The apostle has a rule. And the rule is the measure that God uses to treat the believers. Do you know what is the measure that God uses with the believer? Well, now there is a measure he doesn't violate. He sees you complete. He sees you perfect. And he knows no one according to the flesh. The measure of God is that. God sees you complete. I repeat, he sees you perfect. And your physical body, he says, with that, I don't count on. He does not know you in the flesh. 